Phase shifted full bridge DC DC converter is one of the most popular isolated converter, which is widely used in many applications. So today we are discussing its working, design, and math lab simulation. Phase shifted full bridge DC DC converters are used frequently to step down high DC voltages to lower voltages. It also provides isolation between input and output stages. Its major application includes server power supply, telecom rectifier, battery charging systems, and renewable energy systems. This is the basic structure of a full bridge DC DC converter. We have a DC voltage source at the input. These are the power electronic switches, which can be either MOSFET or RIGBT. This is the high frequency transformer used for the isolation between input and output stage. It also provides the required voltage gain. An inductor is used to limit the output current ripple, and a capacitor used as the filter to regulate the output voltage. Now I will explain the working of this circuit. First let me draw the PWM signals for each switch. In the phase shifted mode of operation, duty ratio of each PWM is fixed at 50%. This is the PWM for switch Q1. To avoid shoot through, the PWM signal for Q2 should be 180 degree out of phase, with respect to Q1. So this is the PWM for switch Q2. Now for switch Q3, we use the same PWM that is used for switch Q1, but with some phase shift. So this is the PWM for switch Q3. Now inverting this signal will give the PWM for switch Q4. Now we will draw the voltage across the transformer primary winding. First switch Q1 and Q4 is on. So the transformer voltage will be, plus VDC. Next, switch Q1 and Q3 is on. During this period, the transformer gets short circuit. So the voltage across it becomes zero. Next switch Q2 and Q3 is on. Therefore the output voltage across the transformer become minus VDC. Finally switch Q2 and Q4 is on. During this time, transformer again gets short circuit, and voltage becomes zero. And this completes one switching cycle. Now similarly we can draw for the next switching cycle also. This transformer voltage is rectified using a diode rectifier to get the required DC output voltage. By adjusting the phase shift between PWM Q1 and Q3, we can change the width of the transformer primary voltage. If we increase the width, the output voltage increases and, if we decrease the width, the output voltage decreases. This is how we control the voltage of a phase shifted full bridge DC DC converter. Now I will explain you, how to design a phase shifted full bridge DC DC converter. First let me give you the specification of the converter. Input voltage is 400 volt. Output voltage is 12 volt. Rated power 600 watts. Output current is 50 amps. Switching frequency is 100 kilohertz. Current ripple is 20%. Voltage ripple is 1%. First we need to find the turn ratio of the transformer. The actual output voltage of the converter is 12 volt. Since there are voltage drop across MOSFET, diode, transformer, and inductor, we need to generate a voltage which has to be more than 12. You can give a margin of 20 to 30% depending on your application. Here I am taking the required voltage as 15 volt. Therefore the turn ratio is given by output divided by input voltage. That is 15 divided by 400 volt, 0.0375. Now we start designing the filter circuit. This is the filter circuit using in the converter. We need to find the value of both the inductor and capacitor. VO is the output voltage. V in into NS by NP is the reflected transformer secondary voltage. This is the current which is passing through the inductor. Where D is the duty ratio, and TS is the switching time. From the figure, we can write the voltage drop across the inductor as, VL is equal to, V in into, NS by NP, minus, VO. General equation for inductor voltage is, VL is equal to L into DI by DT. From this equation, we can write the value of inductance L as equal to, VL into DT by DI. Looking at the current waveform, we can substitute the values for DI and DT. Then inductance become, L is equal to, VL into, DTS by, I ripple. From this equation, we can calculate V, L. So V, L is equal to, 400 into 0 0.0375, minus 12. That is equal to 3 volt. Value of duty ratio D, can be calculated as, required output voltage divided by maximum output voltage, into 1 by 2. That is 12 divided by 15 into 1 by 2, which is 0 0.4. Current ripple is equal to 20% of 50 ampere. That is 10 amps. Now substitute all these values in the inductor equation. 
then L is equal to 3 into 0.4 into 1 by 100 kilohertz, all divided by 10 amps. That is equal to 1.2 micro Henry. Now we design the value of the capacitor. Current through the capacitor is given by I is equal to C into dV by dt. Therefore C is equal to I into dt by dV. Where I is the current ripple, dV is the voltage ripple, dt is the switch on time. So value of C will become I ripple into dTS divided by voltage ripple. Here I ripple and dTS we have already calculated. Now we need to calculate the voltage ripple. V ripple is 1% of output voltage. That is 1% of 12 volt, which is 0.12 volt. Now substitute the values in the capacitance equation. Then C is equal to 10 into 0.4 into 1 by 100 kilohertz, all divided by 0.12, which is equal to 333.33 microfarad. So this completes the design of the filter circuit. Math lab simulation of the converter, using these design values, I will explain in my next video.